Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I showed earlier in the week how I made this um, portfolio and it took me about four hours. You can do it probably in less than an hour if you're fast. Really simple. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, really, the steps are pretty simple. Um, also, credit goes out the song to Marshall Downey. Hopefully, he'll give me more songs to post on my videos. Um, but I like the video so other people can get a chance to see it as well too. Um, but what you want to do is go to github.com, create a user account. And so you're just going to put username, password, email, all that jazz. I'm going to sign into my account. Okay. So, and then what I want you to do from there, once you create an account, you should land somewhere like right here. You can go to this plus sign right here. Go to import repository. Okay. And what we're doing is we're going to copy this repository over. All right. So basically a repository this is like github is like a google drive for developers with a bunch of code and stuff like that so in here what we're going to do is go to this uh, original um, project it's the one that Tossi shared with me and it says in the instructions below it's got all the instructions there to fork the repository that just needs to copy it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to copy it and grab that url clone button at the top of his. And this is important because when you create a website for GitHub, you're going to put your username, okay, dot github dot io. All right, so whatever your username is, just put username dot github dot io after your username, okay? Hit begin import. All right, we're gonna wait for this to load here real quick. While this is importing, um, basically, Tassif um, built his site, told me about it, and so I had to give it a stab. But I had originally seen it on Randy Switch's site, and I was pretty amazed by how fast the site was. And I stumbled on this article that said WordPress to Jekyll. He went from Bluehost, which is like GoDaddy, where his site originally was, and moved it over to um, GitHub using Jekyll, which Jekyll is like um, a package. And I believe it's Ruby, and um, Ruby's a programming language where it converts basically the text to a website um, just plain old text so it's really cool um, but I had stumbled it because I read this guy's website a lot he's a lead senior data scientist for Comcast and so I talk with him every now and then and I got a little bit more information about it and shared it with Tassif and I think that's how he got the idea to do this and then he showed me his repository and I followed the instructions so <clears throat> in here it says fork the repository and then you have to edit some settings and stuff. So basically now it's been complete. It's done importing that. And here it is, it's in my folder. Now check this out though. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna type in my username, just like that. And boom, it's copied his whole project and website, okay? And really all you're doing from here is you're just editing the things that he calls out in the original instructions, okay? So it says the config YAML, that's important. I'm gonna show you if you take a second and pause the video or make some notes, you might want to just for a second because really all you're editing is this file, this file, this file, and this file, okay? And then the other files that you edit because, well, this is your main file, it's like the Holy Grail, and this is the most important one for your configuration, and it actually pulls some of the data from this file onto other pages. Um, this is your About page, this is your Home page, and this is your Projects page, and that's those pages in the configuration file. Now the Projects file, which you can see here, this guy. So the images here are basically inside you go to static and go to the projects folder these are the images you need to delete all these and add your own images of your own projects and then to edit everything else on there you go to data go to projects.json and really all you're doing is you're pulling out this text inside of the quotes there's the image from that images folder i just showed you for the projects and then you add whatever url you want to redirect it to the date if you want to have this, if you don't want to have some of these, you can actually remove the full line. Just make sure that if you remove any lines that there's a comma after this line and it follows the same format. Because you can see some of these here don't have all the same stuff. Some of them have extra, some of them have less. 
You can keep all this and just replace the text if you want. That's fine too, but this will edit the whole projects page for you, okay? So back to the config YAML file, which is the most important. Um, so that's basically also, that's, that's all the um, stuff that you're basically going to update. There's only one other thing here that might be important to you, and it's in your images folder. Um, you'll see in here your favicon. That's the little icon right up here and the top of the tab okay so if that's important to you to change that out you want to you know upload a i don't know 40 by 40 or an 80 by 80 image small image whatever little icon image you want up there and then the me.jpg all i did was i kept the same names and what i did was i deleted these files and then i uploaded new files by using this here and then when I, how i deleted these was i just went inside here and i hit the little trash can to delete them but you want to um, upload a me.jpg JPEG file um, for the image that's going to go up here in the top left, okay? Because that's what that is. And then, like I said, the other one's the little icon in the top there. So um, <clears throat> that updates the image, and then that also updates the uh, little icon. And oh, we already went over that. Sorry. Let's go back to the back, back on track here. So you're going to hit the little edit pencil button, okay? And you're just going to edit all this information, put in your own title, your own description, name, email, all this stuff. Make sure it's not matching. If you want to get rid of any of this stuff, like if you don't need a Google Analytics ID, then basically what you're going to do is you're going to put a little number sign. Just like that. So you graze it out, cancel that line out, okay? You can save it for later if you want, but this inserts the Google Analytics tracking. So basically if you have Google Analytics to track what your visitors are doing on your site to see how people interact with your portfolio, you put your UA ID right there, okay, and you can Google search for Google Analytics and then grab, like, and create a new property or a new account, and it should give you a UA ID um, to where you get that from your settings in Google Analytics, and you just grab that, that right there, okay, that's if you want to. All right, <clears throat> now, you're just going to update all this because it's going to link to his stuff if you don't, okay, so that's really important there. And then the only other thing is down here, you're probably going to you know, get rid of that. And then you're going to put the username in right here. So just like that. All right. And then when you're done, you just go down here and hit propose or commit changes. It'll say one of those two. Okay. And <clears throat> I almost updated his, uh, I'm on his blog. I need to get out of there. Okay. Let's go back over to mine. So, oops wrong one that's my other one so back in here so I don't update his information basically we've edited everything in there that's good to go then we're gonna to go to index what that's gonna do is that's going to update this first page here so you see hi on Tassif and it's got build.com link in there and all that good stuff so you can see in here hi I'm Tassif so you can edit this text if you want to remove that link just delete all of this type whatever text you want in here and then here's the next paragraph, type whatever you want in there. And then here's the um, text above, practice, implement, repeat, right there. And then up top, that's the information up top, okay? And then you don't have to mess with any of this down here. That's it. It'll take you about two to three minutes, okay? And then here, you want to edit this because this is going to be what's at the top of your projects page, right here see okay and then um, what you're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and let's go to the about same thing you're gonna edit and update this stuff here this is a um, embed of an iframe which basically what it's doing is it's putting like a website inside of his website and what it's doing is it's using a Google Doc so he's got his resume like you can put your resume up on your Google Drive and basically what you do is, is you upload your resume to Google Drive and then open your resume in Google Docs and go to File and Publish to Web and get the link and you can put that in here. Or you can simply take the ID, which is the weird long string or long combination of weird random letters that are in the URL and you can put it in right here. But you have to make sure that it's being shared publicly. But you can just go to File, Publish to Web to fix that problem. This is why I said that config YAML file is important because certain things you put in there, it's basically calling them right here. They're like variables, and this is this is the variable for it. And when you put this in on this page, 
it's pulling the email from the config YAML file. So you can leave that alone. Just update this here, this paragraph, and then your resume. Okay, and then that's gonna take care of your um, about me page and put your resume in there, okay? And then I told you how to update this page. I told you how to update this page. As far as your blogs, that's in the um, post blog folder or whatever that was. I can't remember what folder that was in. My bad. Posts, that's where it's at. Okay, in here, this is where you're gonna be adding your posts, okay? So you can see, welcome to my blog. Who am I? Who am I? And all this stuff. Okay, he's got it linked, and he's also got his Discus in here. You have to make sure on your config YAML to add your Discus username. Discus is like a website um, that links to like your blogging, and it actually gets you more visitors and stuff, and gets you more visibility because it's actually posting his blogs likely on that site as well too. And then all that stuff in the config YAML is actually tied to this so it's making it to where you can share it through your Facebook or whatnot it's going to show how many shares are on here and stuff and I think that's why he had his Facebook ID on there on that config YAML um, because inside that folder he had his Facebook ID or app ID but yeah you can see in here he's got his Twitter username and I think he was getting ready to like basically make it to where it's interactive with his Facebook um, and that's I don't think you need to worry about this. This is probably for advanced developers, so don't even worry about that there. Um, so anyways, that's it in a nutshell. Um, other than that, once you're done, it's you know basically going to look like this. And so I edited my index page, and got all this taken care of, and then I added my resume, um, my Google Drive, and file published web and then my projects I put all new pictures in there and then these are all the tags that I put underneath my pictures and populate automatically up here and then this is the projects file projects.md it's on the main file directory whereas these are all under um, the static folder and um, under the projects folder for the images or if you go back to the main folder you go into data folder to edit the text and all the other stuff, the linking and everything for these, okay? And then blogs, remember you go back to your posts folder and in there is um, where you will add your, you know, your posts that will populate inside of that, okay? And so that's basically it in a nutshell. <clears throat> I hope this helps, and I just wanted to show everybody how I put this together. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just make sure to follow the instructions, and you should be able to take care of this probably in less than an hour, I'd say, if you're fast enough, and don't skip anything. <laughs>